Well, hello, everybody. What's uh, happening? Uh, so we are now starting Rome, chapter six in your book. Um, and wanted to kind of um, go over, if I can find the notes here. Um, well, we'll start with the timeline. Um, so we are here on this uh, maybe orange, burnt sienna here. Um, and we are going to talk about today, we'll get back here, uh, the Roman Republic and how Roman society was kind of set up in the very beginning, all right? Uh, and so if you remember, Roman Republic was all about... Um, very similar to Athens. Uh, and this idea of democracy within Rome and um, there were social tensions that led to it. Uh, so with that being said, I'm looking for the unit two note. There they are. So, we start here. Oh, here we go. Uh, so these are the notes that, you know, started with Persia, and then China and India, and then we went to Greece. And so now here we are at the Roman Republic. Um, all right, and so here we have the Etruscans. The Etruscans were like the, the grandfathers of the Romans, and essentially um, they were there in the very beginning um, and had a monarchy. All right, Etruscan kings uh, ruled over the place where Rome is. All right, and there is the, the legendary story of Romulus and Remus, the two twins that were thrown out. Um, and raised by wolves, um, and then later come back and conquer Rome. Now, obviously, uh, a fictional story. However, um, that is why the wolf is a prominent figure within Roman um, history, all right? So, um, here we go. Uh, so, there are, again, the Etruscans, they get kicked out, and the Roman Republic uh, gets started and develops a constitution, all right? Now, Roman nobility uh, disposed of the last Etruscan king in 509. Republican constitution included two councils, civil and military, very similar to what we talked about in Athens, correct? Um, the councils were elected by an assembly, all right, which were dominated by the patricians, and this is something that is is similar but different. Um, it is going to take a much, much longer time in Rome for the lower classes, the plebeians that you'll learn about, um, to actually be able to serve in government. They were allowed to vote, all right, but they only could vote on patricians or wealthy people, all right? And uh, so they were elected, the councils were elected by the assembly, the senate advised the councils and ratified major decisions. So it was very similar to like our legislative body and executive body, you know, between the president and the congress. Um, now, because all of this, um, the senate and the councils represented the interests of the patricians, uh, and the plebeians were not allowed to be a part of it, well, this is going to cause conflicts between the patricians and the plebeians, all right? Almost to the point of, uh, of essentially a civil war. All right, and so now, um, I wanna go here and show you a little PowerPoint and talk about some things. Um, all right, so ancient Rome, here we go. 
There is the Italian peninsula right here, all right? So down here would be like the tip of the toes of the boot and all that. And so Rome, you can see, is located right there in the middle on the Adriatic Sea out in the Mediterranean. Um, and this Tiber River, which you had access to Rome via water routes. So, but it wasn't totally right there on the coast. So invasion was more difficult. So Rome was a very secure spot. Um, to found uh, a city on, all right? Um, for more than 200 years, kings ruled Rome from the 700s, and then we talk about in 509, uh, it became a republic. Uh, the, Senate, uh, the Senate was an assembly of elected representatives, just like our, again, like our Congress. Um, now, there's going to be social tensions like we talked about, but first it's important to understand who the social tensions are between. Like in Athens, uh, they had social classes, but different in just two, and essentially they were the patricians and the plebeians. All right, and the patricians were the wealthy elite, um, and in this, because of their fear of riots and civil war and all that, they allowed the plebeians the right to vote, but they didn't allow them to have positions in the government. So it was a, a kind of halfway deal to where they're going to have to end up getting to before they, they really go and start fighting each other. Now, I think it's important to note that as we've talked about, um, like, patriarchy um, in this class, about how males dominated uh, a society, and that's patriarchy, the word for patriarch or patriarchy comes from this word patrician, all right? And that was the wealthy aristocratic class that you were born into. It was based on blood. Um, and so this is going to obviously cause some problems. Um, now the plebeians, they were the poor. And uh, for all of you guys that go to college and the guys that rush a fraternity, when they get a bid, they will go through their pledge semester, and that's before they become a full member, and that's where they have to go out and, you know, swallow goldfish, and every time that uh, one of the fraternity brothers wants donuts at two in the morning, they have to get out of bed and go get them donuts and come back, and they do all this stuff to them, and during that pledge semester, those guys are referred to as plebes or plebeian. And so that is kind of an insult, kind of like a, a saying that you are of lower status. Um, and so it comes from this uh, idea of Rome, this social class that was the poor, that gained the right to vote but couldn't serve in the government. And they were dependent upon their patricians. And this is what's a, an interesting concept with um, Roman society is that those patricians controlled so much of the daily lives of those plebeians. And it was like, if I was a patrician, I held the loyalty of the people, the plebeians in my neighborhood. You know, so they would come to me and they would ask for money. And in return, I would, you know, uh, give them money and they would vote for me. They would do things for me when asked. So. I kind of like, it was like a godfather kind of thing, you know? And, um, you know, to where everything was based on relationships. Who was your patriarch? Who was the patrician in your neighborhood that if you were plebeian, that you owed alliance to, okay? So something very different than what we have today, you know? Um, and as for the plebeians' lives, um, they were not good by any stretch of the imagination. The lower class is never a good life. However, Roman citizens had it much better than just about anywhere around the world, and that's um, a lot due to Rome's wealth and their, their engineering and technology that we'll get into. All right? Um, so patricians and plebeians again. Um, Again, most of the people elected were to the Senate were patricians. 
Uh, they controlled the law since they were the only citizens allowed to be judges, and so obviously they ruled in their favor, and which is going to cause tensions, all right? So it's not a perfect system in the beginning, all right? Um, so you can see that not until 287 B.C. Uh, e, they, that they gained the equality with the patricians, and so think about it. So for the first hundred and uh, almost 200 years, uh, these guys don't have equal power with them. Uh, the plebeians do not have equal power with the patricians. Um, all right, we are going to stop there. I will talk to you guys later. See ya.